Studio 61, powered by Vantage TV by Frontier. Uh, back now, 946. We are just a week and change from one of the uh, big uh, travel events of the year here in Connecticut. It's when the snow meets the tropics at the Ski, Sun, and Travel Expo. Uh, this morning, we're off to Aruba. This man's going to take us there. Forrest Kramer meets us for another <laughs> year. Uh, it is more than a slogan. Aruba is known as One Happy Island. Absolutely. Still is? Still is. Good. Uh, <laughs> Good that's morning. That's the big thing about Aruba is the people. Good. Good morning to you, first and foremost. Uh, Talk about, you know, it's been, you know, obviously the Caribbean has been uh, in, in the headlines for the last couple of weeks, not for the right reasons, obviously, with an active hurricane season. But if you don't know your map, we'll tell you right now that Aruba is right off the coast of Venezuela, right down on True. South America and kind of just far enough to the south that it missed out on all the action this year, right? We've never had a hurricane. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been some that have passed maybe 150, 200 miles north of us. Close calls. That'll kick the wing, uh, wind up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as hurricane force winds, we've not had that. Mm -hmm. We're too far south. Well, knock on wood. We're, we're happy, yeah. happy to okay. do that. So, yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Good call. Uh, talk about Aruba, again, one happy place. And it, and it does have a reputation for being a, a great vacation destination. We're going to show you some video right now as we talk. Uh, how, how does the one happy place stay happy? Happy. It gets happy. I think it's just something that's ingrained in the uh, the people. It is a mixture of cultures, about 90 different cultures, mm -hmm. and they've all kind of merged together over the years, and uh, they just get along well, and they translate that into the tourists as well, too. Mm -hmm. I would imagine when you have 90 different cultures, I, I would think uh, the foodie in me wants to say that there's a lot of div uh, diverse uh, food, uh, food and culture as a result. If I went to Aruba more often, I'd be a lot bigger. It's, <laughs> it's, um, there's about 300 different restaurants. We do have uh, um, some hotels that are, are, are all-inclusive, uh -huh. but mostly uh, we've got a variety of restaurants that range from uh, all different cultures, mm -hmm. and including this month is the uh, local food month, so uh, people go out to different restaurants to try more local mm -hmm. uh, foods as well, too. Sure, to get out and sample the new stuff. Yeah, right? sample yeah. the stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. You talked yeah. about the resorts. Lots to choose from, uh, and it's not just centered around one specific demographic. This could be romance, this can be for couples, this can be for families as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, there's a ton of things for families to do. We have a, a program called One Happy Family, which is a, a free thing that we, the, the tourism company uh, department provides. And basically it's some amenities you get just by signing up for it. The kids get a VIK passport. Oh really? Very important kid. <laughs> and they mark off everything they see mm -hmm. and then they turn it in at the end of the week. There's a drawing at the end of the year, and whoever gets it gets a week vacation in Aruba. So my, my kids could win me a trip back, is what you're saying? If you take them, yes. If I take them. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, let me think about that. One thing my kids are interested in is the ecology. And, oh. uh, and, and obviously we, we want to see how, how the earth is staying in good shape. Aruba is uh, doing its part, and it's become a real eco-destination as well. Very much so. Uh, some of the resorts are, are really into it. Bakuti is one of them that really... Uh, gets into that. We even have little sections there where the turtles come in and, and lay mm -hmm. eggs and it's all marked off so mm -hmm. they can do that. We also have a big wind farm mm -hmm. and we have no water so we make it out of the ocean. So it's all done through a desalination plant and mm -hmm. all the water is provided by that. Very nice. You wow. can drink it right out of the faucet or out of a can if you take the Balashi beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, again, that goes back to the adults, obviously. I tell you what, uh, at, a, at a recent trip that we took, uh, not to Aruba, we saw the uh, the turtles being hatched and taken mm -hmm. care of, and it is, it's a sight to be seen. So if you guys are doing that as well, it's a tremendous stuff. Uh, Forrest and the rest of the nice folks uh, from Aruba are going to be at the uh, Sea Sun and Sand Expo, which is going to be, again, yep. a week from, not this weekend, but next weekend, of course, we have all of the information for that on our website. That's at fox61.com. Forrest, next time you go, take me with you. Thank you, you very much. No. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> you have to take your family. Worth a shot. Well, I guess, all right, we'll, we'll negotiate something. Okay. Thank, thanks for coming. We appreciate it. My pleasure. You. Still to come appreciate on Fox 61 Morning News, uh, we have uh, lots more to talk about, uh, including, oh boy, auditions to become next year's, you guessed it, Hartford Yard Goats mascots, Chompers and Choo Choo. What do you got to do? We've got the answer coming up. Studio 61, powered by Vantage TV by